I think it started another one. This is uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse, verse 12. It reads, Put on, therefore, as the elect of the Most High, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, mm -hmm. humbleness of mind, meekness, yeah. long-suffering. And, you know, if I could say that's, the, that's those are all, you know, characteristics, you know, that we should have, you know, going into the time that we're going into, man. You know, prior to what we were saying, you know, Satan, you know, cut the law, yeah. you know, but hey, scripture you say you can't do nothing against the truth before, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, yeah. so we just going to keep, uh, you know, going in the spirit, man, mm -hmm. you know, so we're back, you know, uh, we're back up and running. <laughs> You know, and from that Colossians 3, you said you had a precept? Kind of. Um, but, Which the precept is following, just for edification. Yeah, yeah, nah, we, we, he's precepting based upon what you said and that I further elaborated mm -hmm. with Jeremiah the 16th chapter, right. 16 verse. Right. Oh, yeah. Which is speaking of the Lord sending fishers and sending hunters. Mm -hmm. And the the fishing aspect cannot be, not be neglected. The fishing is the foundation. Gathering the elect. Gathering, you know, teaching. Edifying, magnifying the proper name. Right. Um, that that's a part of the fishing process. But yeah. it's necessary to have what you need to be a hunter. Yeah. And the hunter is when those who do what they gotta do and, and they, they go get what needs to be gotten. Yeah. And that and that's that's the judgment of the Heavenly Father's hand. And the elect will enact that, man. Mm -hmm. All right. The, the elect of the nation of Israel. Right. right, but go ahead, bro. Yeah. It's Matthew four and verse seventeen. From that time, Yahweh Shah began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? And as you can see, that's what we're constantly pushing. All right? You know, the, the prophecy, basically. Yeah. Okay? Because repentance is a part of prophecy as well. Mm -hmm. Okay? Verse 18, And Yahweh Shah, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, mm -hmm. and Andrew his brother, mm -hmm. casting a net into, a, into the sea. For well, they were fishers. And he saith unto them, now this is Yahweh Shah speaking, because it's in red, it says, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Okay? Basically, what? You're gathering up the hopeful elect as we're doing today. Okay? Spiritually, we're fishing, and there's going to come to a point of time where we won't be a part of that number, but we're going to begin to what? Hunt, as the brother was going into. Okay? But we're still in that fishing season. Right? We're trying to fish those who believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And, 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 and if you have a bad fish that don't believe you, you cast it back cast to the sea. Back, um, okay? If it ain't right. Unclean. If it's unclean, yeah, the water. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have right there. Um, yeah, I got some. This is uh, Jeremiah 16. and um, 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish after them, and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rock. Mm -hmm. So as the brother was saying, we're in the business of our fits for men, but the ministry is going to switch. It's going to be a time where we're not going to be on the highways and byways. Mm -hmm. This word is going to be outlawed. The Bible is going to be outlawed. And it's going to be a point where <clears throat> the ministry is going to go to another level. We're going to have yeah. to preach to men, women, and children who believe according to Psalms uh, 110, 110 and 1. Mm -hmm. And the day of that uh, trouble, that, yeah. that people shall be uh, willing. Yeah. Yeah, that power. Yeah. 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 So, like, it's going, the ministry's going to uh, shift. So, we have to know how to shift gears in this mm -hmm. thing. But then after that, it's going to switch to the power. You know, you be, yeah. you, you've been hearing a lot of lessons from uh, Elder Kazak mm -hmm. this week. He's been dropping a lot of lessons this week, last week about uh, the power. Yeah, the, power. Uh, the power is coming. Yeah. You know, we're gonna have the power to fish out for uh, many men, especially those uh, those elites, those lesser luminaries yeah. that's in these bunkers. You're right. You never know who it might be. That's the spirit, bro, because that ties right in. You know, with the topic of the lesson, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, because to go, even though, even though the the Lord, you know, ultimately could just take Esau out of power if he wanted to. He's the ultimate uh, author, man. Exactly. You know? So he's setting it up to where, you know, he going to have his army, you know, and, and it's just going to be that that great battle, man. Yeah. So the, the, even though Esau is doing all this <laughs> and preparing for World War III, hey, the Lord is gathering his men as well, man. Exactly. You know? Mm -hmm. 
along with Yahweh Shai and the angels, man. Because they love to come back too and crack the clouds and be a part of that destruction, man. Okay? So this is, this is going to be a, a, the, the, a, like the scripture saying, Daniel the 12th chapter, man. A time like there was never before. Yeah. You know? Okay, if I can back up your yeah. point, that's the Lord showing his power. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to let you know, I'm going I'm to have this, these, these writings translated from the Hebrew, Latin, and the Greek. All right, I'm going to have these writings already written. Then I'm going to have my Israelites, the, my prophets, proclaim them before y'all. Then yeah. I'm going to have it happen. That's the Lord, yeah. Lord showing his power. I'm about to show you how it, I'm, he, I'm about to go into detail how this thing about to go down. That's his power. You know, that's his power. Bro. With a small number. Yeah. 144,000, man. Mm -hmm. You know? You got more on that? Uh, no, I have a precept. All right, go ahead. You got it. And then, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Go this ahead. Is, uh, Job 33, 14, and 15. For the most high speaker once. And twice, yet man perceiveth not. Mm -hmm. Verse 15, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, mm -hmm. and slumbereth upon and slumbereth upon the bed, verse 16, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth the instructions. So that's yeah. going upon um, the charge of the angels according to uh, Psalms 103, 103. and uh, 20. Yeah. He get the Lord gives the charge of the angels. Yeah. So while we sleep, the scriptures say man's going to the Lord. Right. So mm -hmm. you, you today tomorrow's the first of the month. Right. You know, rent is due. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And that and if I could say it's like you, but that shows you that the angels are in order. Mm -hmm. You know how how, how they say it's the fallen angel, you mm -hmm. know, who, who's going against the will of the heavenly father. Mm -hmm. That's right. That that Psalms one oh three and twenty straight cuts that man. Mm -hmm. You know, not to be too far off topic, you know, but, you know, just for edification sake, man. You got it, huh? Uh, I'll bring out Psalms 123 and you got it. Okay, okay. This is Psalms 103 and 20. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that at seven strength, mm -hmm. that do his commandments. That do his commandments, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So he, so <clears throat> the Lord has it to where what? Yahweh and the angels pursuant to second angels, the 13th chapter. Is going to take part in that war, man. That's a part of the Lord's commandment. You know, he's the he's the greatest author, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the greatest instructor. You know, the first of hey, you know how they say, uh, you know, uh, if brothers be paying attention, how soldier boy be like, I'm the first to do this. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> yeah. You know, Yahweh is the heavenly Father, man. <clears throat> you know, uh, you got it. It's, uh, Psalms 103 and 20 from the top. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, mm -hmm. that are selling strength, that do his commandments, right. hearkening unto the voice of his word. Yep, hearkening to the voice of his word, man. You see? So the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has, has already have everything written, man. You know, and it's going to take place. You know, the scriptures say, well, he's not slack concerning his promises. You know, yep. you know, I got it. I know you say what well, that Isaiah 13, too, if you want still. Uh, oh, yeah, it was more than yeah, Isaiah 13. Get Isaiah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Isaiah 9, too. You want God, let's, let's get that and then hop right into Isaiah 13. Yeah. Okay. Because there's more, it was more yeah, meat yeah. on that bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this is uh, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. And garments rolled in blood, mm -hmm. but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Right, mm -hmm. you got it. No, you got oh, it. Oh, is that going into World War Three, man? You know, because prior we were speaking of what World War One, mm -hmm. you know, World War Two, yeah. you know, and all these previous wars. Hey, it said it was a, it was a battle with confused noise, mm -hmm. you know, because it was up close and personal, man. You had swords, and you know, and eventually you 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 uh you got the guns and the. Uh, the uh, the tanks and the missiles, yeah, you know. Hey, but this World War Three, it says what? Well, it says for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise mm -hmm. and garments rolled in blood. Uh -huh. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Burning and fuel of fire, you know. War, hey, the ICBM nuclear missiles, yeah, man. Nuclear missiles. Burning and and, and fuel of fire, man. Hey, the Lord is not playing this time, man. Mm -hmm. America is not going to be inhabited again, man. That's right. You know? 
that 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 hey that's that's the second death man yeah. oh yeah you know yeah. just like uh the flood caused the earth to change its uh uh diameters you know with the tectonic uh, plates breaking. yeah the tectonic plates yeah. plates breaking the continents are drifting. yeah the yeah. Continent, hey the, the lord caused it to where it has seven continents now man yeah, yeah. you know Hey, the same thing is going to take place with the missiles, man. God, you know, in Revelation, the 21st chapter. Oh, that, oh, you got that? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the spirit. God, you this, got is, this is um, Revelation 21, starting in verse 8. It started at the top. God, I got you. This is um, Revelation 21 and 1. It reads, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Mm -hmm. For the first heaven and the first earth <clears throat> were passed away. The writer said, a new heaven and a new earth. Mm -hmm. And when you go into that word new, in the Greek, it's kainos, man, which means what? We refresh. See, the Lord is going to, is going to cause the earth to be refreshed through the fire, man. You know? And this is what we're gearing our mind for, man. We ain't into this whole carnal madness that's going on in America, man. Right. I already said what in 1 John, if I'm not mistaken, that the um, the fashion of this world is going to pass away. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the former things that we're living in now, it's going to actually be former things. Mm -hmm. It's going to bring what? New things. Yeah. How about Shimei on shot? Once he, um, you know, hit that reset button. So this That's is right. experience. That's right. You got right. it. <coughs> Continuing on, on, verse 1, it says, And there were no more sea. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. and, and and people just said, it said, holy. Okay? Mm -hmm. Meaning separate. We ain't going to come back to the same things that we used to been doing. All right? Mm -hmm. To the same madness, to the same confusion, to the same, you know, filthy rats, the, the stony hearts. No, everything is going to be made new, man. Yeah. Okay? Because that was according to his promise. Yeah. That, that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh said with an oath. Yeah. Started with Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob all the way through his seas, man. That's right. His seas, okay? That's right. It reads, um, and I, and I, John, saw the holy <laughs> city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the most high out of heaven, prepared mm -hmm. as a bride adorned for her husband. Mm -hmm. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. It's with men. Okay? And he will dwell with them, mm -hmm. and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it says, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Right. And it says, The Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people use this scripture to be like, oh, the Lord, you know, he, no, this this is a future prophecy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know? Feel good scripture. Right. Feel, they try to use it like a feel good, you know, scripture as of now. No, we're not in our rest, man. Just like we were speaking of, as the souls of the just shall complain continually, man. But these people are not even complaining. They're not complaining. Because these people are completely settled on their leaves. You're comfortable with society. Mm -hmm. yep. You're making excuses for the degenerate behavior of the society. You're telling us why we can do this and why we can do that when we can't mm -hmm. partake in this society. Homosexuality is not okay. Uh -huh. You know, but you got Christians, they'll say, you know, that God loves you. No, he yeah, doesn't. He does. actually doesn't love everybody. Mm -hmm. And certain actions and characteristics, if you continually condu uh, conduct yourself after without repenting, will lead to destruction, man. Mm -hmm. And that's true love. You can't say we didn't. We showed the, we showed the people true love based upon truth and edification. That's right. That's right. Yeah, like uh, the scriptures say, uh, our salvation is nearer than when we believe. Mm -hmm. If you really pay attention to the Bible, yeah. And the prophecies, at least going to Matthew 24 chapter, gotcha. you should know something's going on. Yeah. All right, you know, you should know something is really going on. But our people had this um, mentality of uh, going according to Esau and his, his belief <laughs> a Christian system that it might happen in 2100, right? Uh, um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're not paying attention to 74, yeah. you right. know, some weird number. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, we, <laughs> we at the end of this thing, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they always say. We at the end, but it ain't gonna happen in our lifetime. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> then, then when is it gonna happen? I mean, not because you're gonna be dead. That's <laughs> why. You know, because Jacob Trouble is gonna wipe your nose. That's why. But we know for sure and for certain that this kingdom is about to be um, ushered in by your house shot. Yeah. Is it in a couple months? Is it this year? Is it next year? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you yep. can't keep going too far after that. Right. So we're at the we're this is we're at the gates of the nobles. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. then we can say is we'll see according to prophecy. Yeah. Because yeah. one thing about it too, we know hey, 
the Lord, man, the Lord, how the Lord works. We understand how the Lord works, man. He's not going to set up his men to proclaim the message, have them die away and set up a whole no, man. The Lord, yeah, yeah. the Lord gonna have that message go out, he's gonna have it happen. Mm -hmm. Anytime he sent for a prophet, that they, they went then that went down then. Why they went right. alive. Then, then, there, yeah. right. And then where are we at in prophecy? We're at we're in the book of Revelation. Exactly. The second the first and second war have already passed. Yeah. World War One has passed. World War Two has passed. That's where that's really what it's about. Come on, man. The MOTB, when you read about um, in Revelation, the third chapter and the 10th verse, mm -hmm. it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, which yeah. this is actually an example of that, um, doing the work of the Heavenly Father, I'm fishing. Yep. Um, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, the scripture says, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. temptation. Yeah. Which, when you go into the hour of temptation, it's ora ton pirmosos, mm -hmm. which means moment of piercing. What is that talking about? That's talking yeah. about the MOTB. Yeah. It's talking about the CHIP, which, mm -hmm. and then the next verse it says, Behold, I come quickly. Mm -hmm. Showing you when that mark is instituted, when that CHIP, when the Karagam is instituted, Yahweh Shah say he's coming quickly. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's, that's the end. That's yeah. the test. What, what else are we here for? Yeah. We're here to, right. to, to overcome the test, man, yeah. and then get delivered. They literally have uh, the the brain chip, man. Yeah, yeah, Elon yeah. Musk. Elon Musk, man. Yeah, that's it. You know, literally, they literally putting it in the news that he's creating yeah. a, a, a chip yeah. for the brain. Right, right hand yeah. before it. He's looking and to do that last, next year. Yeah, yeah. the last article I've seen of him, he's actually looking for people voluntarily to, to do that. <laughs> See, man? They're going to make oh, it man. mandatory. You ain't going to be able to buy a cell unless you got a, something, a, a device implanted into your brain or your hand, man. Yeah. That's yeah. biblical prophecy. Biblical yeah. prophecy. They, they even showed it in that, um, you know, that Goody Mob video mm -hmm. back in the day. Who's that people in the window? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ow. Yeah. Nobody. Oh, now, man. they showed that shit where they was trying to get the piece of uh, um, newspaper and uh, I think it was uh, one of them goody mob bros, man, but they had to scan their hand yeah. to, to get the paper. Yeah. They showed it in that video, that the goody mob cell therapy video. Mm -hmm. That that was the that was that was the new wave. There was there was a couple rappers that had videos about the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's just too evident not to know what 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 the MOTB is because right. if you even say it, if you even go into Revelation thirteen sixteen. You know, the brother Shamak and the brother uh, Zakaria knows, they'll flag your video. You can't now. even go into that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the family yeah. order. Yeah. 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 And like that guy, um, <clears throat> and we won't give it to Scripps too, but like that we guy. We have um, Scripps. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, Jake Paul. Oh, you're yeah, kind of. You know, he, he got that chip in his um, right arm. Oh, see, mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't even know. You got the chip? Mm -hmm. There's a video of him getting the chip, and whatever, whatever the fuck it was, it, it made his arm look a little weird and shit. Oh, and it closes up and shit. Yeah, he was he was pressing another um up and coming celebrity to get it also. Yeah, yeah. Which I remember um the captain uh Kavash, he showed a video about um it was this rapper from LA, his name was like Trey D, and he had the chip in his hand and they was playing the news like on the wall, like what's going on? This guy escaped from jail, you know, um this guy, this, this, that, and the third. They're already showing you what happened like two, three years ago. A lot of these rappers They've been showing you the entertainers. They've been showing you, but it's people. They're just not paying attention. No, yeah, it's you know, yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, they're not considering. <clears throat> you know, and the scriptures speak about you know how they misuse prophets. Yeah. You know, and ultimately it's going to lead to what their destruction, man. Because you 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 freely have have the prophets of the Lord here to freely give you all their answers. Mm -hmm. They like the scriptures say, my people do have not considered. <laughs> Exactly. You know, so where we where was we at? Um, you get out. You get out. Oh yeah, you said Revelations too. Oh, yeah. The second devil. Kind yeah, of, we yeah. Get, keep keep going in there. Okay, con. Um, who's in verse four? Yep, this is uh, Revelation twenty one. I bring at the top. Yeah. Con verse four. It reads, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, mm -hmm. and there shall be no more death. Yeah. Neither sorrow, nor crying. Mm -hmm. Neither right. neither shall there be any more pain. And that's how you know that this is a future prophecy. Because prophecy. you got people dropping left, uh, dropping uh, dead left and right right now. Mm -hmm. You know, literally. More so than any time before. Yeah, more so than any time. And it's going to continue, you know, until, you know, the kingdom is established. Especially with you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. 
And that no more death is talking about you, black. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not. You're not. It's not talking about black. At that point, you're not black no more. You're Israelite. And you're not Hispanic. You're Israelite. Mm -hmm. And when the no more death means there's going to be no more sin, mm -hmm. which means you're not going. We're not going to die. Yeah. We're going to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. What you consider yourself today, which you're actually biblical, biblically speaking, you're Israelites. Yeah. Uh, Hebrew Israelites. We're we're going to be immortal at the coming of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, you got it, bro. Oh, yeah, and, and so like it, but here it is right here. You know, um, just look up Jake Paul. Yeah. Chip arm, he, you know, he's putting it in, you know, got the chip in his arm. Yeah. Kind of. Um, this is verse 4. It says, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor mm. crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the for the former things are passed away. And this is, in order to get to that, like mm -hmm. Brother Shamak spoke of, it has to be destruction. You know? Mm -hmm. This place has, Esau, the so-called white man, his kingdom has to be taken from him. You know? Because the scriptures speak up about in the book of Habakkuk that the spirit that's within him is not upright. Yeah. Okay? So his ways, his ways are automatically death, man. You know? He saw it come out uh, wicked, man. Yeah, the wicked are strange from the womb. Yeah, the wicked yeah. are estranged from from the womb, man. Mm -hmm. Speaking lies, man. Yeah. Lies. Okay? So in order for us to get to this, you know, America has to be destroyed, which is World War Three, man. Yeah. You, you said it was uh, skip down at verse 8, and then I know you had that revelation too. Kind, kind. Skip it down to um, verse 8. It reads, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable, mm -hmm. and murderers, mm -hmm. and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, mm -hmm. and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. And this is what, you know, uh, we're separating ourselves from. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're saying to the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, please forgive us for even being like that. Mm -hmm. right? You know, even though the scriptures speak about us sinning, you know, daily, and we, we sin, we repent, you know, we're doing the work. We're calling on the name, you know, and the Lord is going to have it to where his, his if, if, you know, he hears your prayers and if you abide and endure in the truth, mm -hmm. then you won't partake in that, man. He's going to put the spirit on you to be like, I don't, I don't need the MOTB. Mm -hmm. I have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, but if not, and then you are willingly take it. Just like we see at these people uh, uh, advocating or, uh, or uh, marketing, you know, for for this uh, technology to take place, you you Israelites, man, okay, and the Lord is gonna do away with you, man. Especially them, those of you who know, man, okay, who's pushing, you know, Esau's system and his government. Yeah, man. You know, the Lord is gonna do away with you, man. Yeah, yeah. What's that? What? Um, they'll join hand in hand. Yeah, well, as the yep. spirit we have bought that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Come, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got a precept. Right, go ahead. This is uh, Acts 17 and 30. And the times of this ignorance, mm -hmm. God winked at, but now commanded at all men everywhere to re to repent. So, I mean, it's only going to be so many times where the Lord is going to be like, you know, winking at your ignorance. You know, you, you commit oh. adultery, you commit witchcraft, mm -hmm. you commit idolatry. It's only going to be so long before we've been out here, you know, we've been out here and like, God knows what temperature outside, 20, yeah. 30, right. you know what I'm saying, for two, three hours, trying to compel, what's compelling is a threat. We're threatening, we're basically threatening you people yeah. through these lessons every day, you mm -hmm. know, to, to come back to the Lord. Yeah, right. you know, we live in Atlanta, yeah. Georgia, where it's like, it's a whole bunch of Negroes, <laughs> Latinos, yeah. and you name, Amer you name Americans down the block, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like where we at right now, I ain't gonna mention where we at, but it's a lot of Latinos. Y'all yeah, mm -hmm. need y'all need to get the word. The most high is winking at the ignorance right now. But before that, I mean after that comes the family of the word, and you can't say I didn't know. Because mm -hmm. like for you for instance, you Latino brothers, you got brothers in Bolivia, mm -hmm. right. Peru, you know, uh mm -hmm. all Central and South America, Mexico, yeah. mm -hmm. giving you the word in Spanish. Yeah, so you, you got brothers in Tampa. Yeah, you Hispanics speaking, guys, speaking uh, Spanish. Yeah, exactly. It ain't no excuse. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. It's 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 enough mm -hmm. brothers 
excellent, magnificent intellectual brothers breaking down these scriptures in the Spanish, man. You only got two brothers in Mexico. They, that's a goddamn shame, man. All that damn following going on. It's down a there. damn shame. You know? Even in Atlanta, there's a lot of Hispanics in Atlanta. Right. There's a lot of Hispanics in Atlanta. There should be a way more Hispanics in, in um, you know, because we got Northern Kingdom in our camp. We got a lot of Gadites and mm -hmm. Rubenites. Mm -hmm. But it should be a more uh, Ishikar. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, you know, Zebulonites. Right. You know? Right. Go ahead, Revelation. This is Revelation chapter 11. Uh, I started verse 11, and it reads, After three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw, which saw them. So the Lord put that spirit of truth back in the earth. That's why right. we know that we're at the end. Yeah. You know, he said in Matthew 24, the gospel shall go out, then the end shall come. That's right. Oh, right. Come oh, right. Said, it said that three and a half days. Yep. Which is yep. speaking, which is speaking of when our business came on the scene. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. That three hundred, that three hundred and fifty year period between uh, was it sixteen nineteen and nineteen sixty nine, man. Yep. Okay. And then when the truth, you know, took off, mm -hmm. you know, and the spirit was 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 within, you know, starting with the with the heads, exactly. you know, and then the apostles and elders, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And fast forward, you have it here, man. Exactly. Okay, to where the truth is, is literally ta is, is taking over. You know, and you can't say that it, that it isn't, man. No, you can no. go to your local uh, uh, grocery store and see a, a, a Jake wearing fringes, man. Bro, right, on yo. the south side, bro, <laughs> IUIC has put up a whole you know billboard I mean? on the south side, bro. Oh, that's a wild. whole fucking, I'm see? talking about a whole, I'm gonna, you know, on um, 85. Oh, no, now. On, no, on 85. Mm -hmm. It's a whole billboard where it says, um, what does it say at the top? Um, your history in the Bible. It got a Jake with a um with iron, with iron on his neck, and they got a Gadite, a Gadite and a Jake, and it's mm. talking about how we the Israelites. Yeah. I don't want to. It's a fucking highway. Yeah. I don't want to hear, it, bro. You right. guys have heard this truth, man. Right. You can't say you heard it. You got it. Uh, Revelation chapter eleven verse twelve, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, "Come up hither," and they ascended up to. So like it, and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And you mm -hmm. heard the brother before speak upon that time of temptation, that that moment, that uh, that moment of piercing. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is that deliverance going up before those or while those missiles are shot. Yeah. You know that yeah. hey, after you pass that test, you going up, you get delivered on the chariot, man. Yeah. Of course, Lord willing, we be a part of that those men. Yeah, and the scripture say so. I can the scripture yeah. say that the elect. You said scarcely be saved. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you go into that word scarcely, it means almost not, man. Yeah. All right? So even the elect, you know, the ones who are doing the work of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh mm -hmm. hey, the Lord is still going to put that fear within them, man. Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay? Yeah. Because imagine you seeing a missile coming straight straight towards you. Yeah. And that fear is going gonna, is gonna to heighten. Exactly. It's going to increase, man. Yeah. You know, and that's why, that's why you know, the, for the elect, when they get beamed up in that chariot, it's, they just gonna be crying tears of joy, rejoicing, and hugging yeah. each other. Crazy, how about because you? they escaped, they escaped that great destruction great that's coming, destruction, man. Yeah. You know, oh, that's why the scriptures say uh, uh, Babylon has suddenly fallen, man, because yeah. that destruction is gonna be great and quick, man. One hour, one hour. One hour. Yeah. You got it. Huh? Verse thirteen, go right into what you were saying. It says in the same hour was mm -hmm. there a great earthquake. And the tenth part of the city fell, mm -hmm. and then the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand, mm -hmm. and the remnant were affrighted and mm -hmm. gave glory to the power of heaven. Mm -hmm. See, it said that great earthquake, man, which is when the missiles hit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and it said what the tenth, the tenth part of the man, city, the tenth uh, part of the city, city fell. Hey, that's America, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be this place is, is going to be obliterated, man. That's right. Desolate. Yeah. Like that um, show, Don't Look Up. Don't Look Up. When, yeah. the, when, the, when the comic kept getting closer and closer, everything was just shaking. Yeah. Everything yeah. was falling on the floor. The pebbles right. were bouncing up mm -hmm. on the ground and stuff. Everybody was shaking. Yeah, hey, but you, yeah. you you notice when uh, at the end, if you brothers have seen it, it, it's really not a spoiler, but at the end, they came back up. You know, it was new mm -hmm. animals and... Yeah. And America, not it's not going to be like that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Isaiah thirteen. Yeah, that's why we got to go back into that Isaiah thirteen. You got something? That oh, Isaiah thirty four 
where it talks about, I get that right quick. No, we're talking about the desert creatures. Um, this is Isaiah chapter, uh, excuse me, Isaiah 34. And um, Isaiah 34 and uh, verse 8. For it is a day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses and the controversy of Zion. And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof shall be thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall be become burning pitch. It shall not be quenched, nor night, nor day. The quench thereof shall go up forever, for generation to generation. It shall lie waste, it shall pass through forever and ever. Some corn and a bittern shall possess it, and the owl also, and the raven shall dwell in it, mm -hmm. and he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. So basically, there's going to be desert creatures who are going to inhabit America. Yeah. You know, it's kind of—it's not going to be, you know, your cat or your dog. It's going to be the owls, mm -hmm. uh, eagles. eagles, scorpions. Unclean. Those yeah, unclean yeah. animals that can survive uh, nuclear radiation. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, <clears throat> This Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. Mm -hmm. The second woe is past, and mm -hmm. behold, the third woe coming quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that time of war that we've been mentioning, man, World War III is guaranteed to take place because the Bible says so. It's preordained to happen. Yeah. Guaranteed to take place, man. And mm -hmm. the verses went, it gave you the, the order. Yeah. The waking of the Israelites, yeah. deliverance. All right, during that time, during that time, in those missiles, mm -hmm. destroying this place, man. That's what's about to happen. That's it. You know, that's it. And because the scriptures speak about in Matthew the twenty fourth chapter about the gospel being preached out into the, mm -hmm. uh, the four corners of the earth, man. Yeah. You know, and then after that, what the destruction? Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord's going to allow them, them angels to let loose. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Yaqua, you think I did Isaiah thirteen? Come. We can go into that, and then we can. Yeah, the This is Isaiah chapter 13, um, verse 16. That children also shall be dashed to pieces See? before their eyes. Hey, but we the scriptures say that children shall be dashed to pieces. But when we say when we say oh well, those gods are speaking hate. Yeah. And saying the kids are gone. The that's what the scripture yeah, said. He told you what's gonna happen. You know? The scripture said in the book of Job, whoever uh, uh, died being innocent, a pair being mm -hmm. innocent, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So even little kids are going to get a taste, you know, of of uh, Yahweh by Shimei man. Mm -hmm. You know? Because he, he's the one who's creating it pursuant to 1 Samuel, the, sec uh, the second chapter, man. And oftentimes they die because of their parents' iniquities, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you want to have Christmas and you want to mm -hmm. throw up. You want to have Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. You want to celebrate birthdays for them. And you want to worship them as an idol and as a deity and things like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a that's a grave sin. That's called mm -hmm. idolatry. And the Lord doesn't play with it. And so he's going to bring forth the judgment, man. Yeah. You know? And that's what, hey, but, but going back to what we keep saying, this is what we're gearing our mind for, man. Yeah. You know, because the Lord is going to have to be with us in that day, man, because we haven't, we, you know, we haven't seen a certain brothers, a lot of brothers haven't seen, you know, kids being put to oh, death. Yeah. Or, yeah. You know, or apparitions. Yeah, or apparitions. Oh, yeah, exactly. Leviathans. Yeah, Leviathans. The, the elements, the you smell. Know? It's going to be, the, you know, the, the, the small stuff, man. Carnage, yeah. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be the small stuff, man, because that's how you know it's, it's going to. That's why we know it's, bro, that's why we know we have to have faith in the Lord. It's going to come down to it. The Lord is dealing with you or not. You know, mm -hmm. you ain't going to be able to fake that you deliverance. Can't. You can't. You know what I'm saying? can't fake a standard. You can't, you can't fake a standard. Exactly. You can't fake right. a standard. You got it. Yeah, right. come. This is, um, this is their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. Verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, mm -hmm. which shall not regard silver and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. And he's saying he going to stir them up, man. So no matter what you do, you know, and that's why we, that's why, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy. You know, we always, you, you always think the prophecy, man. Yeah. No matter what you see in the news or, okay. or Russia, Russia and uh, America is mm -hmm. coming to agreements with Ukraine. The scriptures say that the Lord is going to stir them up. Yeah, yeah. 
And now the the Medes for those don't understand. Mm -hmm. The Medes are the Russians. Yeah, the Russians. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Which the the uh, the Medes that land masses which that's Russia. Now the people who used to live there, yeah. the actual Japhites that have the name of Medea, those people don't live there anymore. That's not talking about those guys. They have no. They're not important. They're nobody. Mm -hmm. The actual people of prominence are the Russians. Obviously, mm -hmm. can you not see that? And, and the Russians are the one that's going to bring forth this World War Three with America and ultimately destroy America. That's right. All right. That's why verse eighteen says, "Their bows also the de mm -hmm. shall dash the young man to pieces, mm -hmm. and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Mm -hmm. Their eyes shall not spare children." We're just talking about the missiles that's coming mm -hmm. from Medea. Verse nineteen, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of Chaldees, excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, and how was, how was Sodom and, and Gomorrah overthrown? Mm -hmm. Through that fire and brimstone, mm -hmm. man. That destruction. Yeah. That destruction, man. Yeah. You know? Which is referring to what? America, man. Yeah. You know? This is speaking about America, man. And how do we know it's speaking about America? Well, let's read the next verse. Yeah, keep going. Well, yeah, let's yeah. talk about Babylon. Well, right. let's see the next verse. Let's right. see if it's talking about Iraq or not. <laughs> All right, verse 20. It says, it shall never be inhabited. Right. Mm. Is Iraq inhabited? Yes. Is there not a whole government of Iraq, the Republic of Iraq, whatever mm. they want to call themselves? Right. Yeah. All right. Hey, that's talk, it's not talking about ancient Babylon. It's talking about modern Babylon, which is America, United States. Verse 20, it says, It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. That's a spirit because that, that video, yeah, video generation yeah. on the war. war. Yeah. 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 It says, Neither shall the Arabians pinch tent there, mm -hmm. neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Yeah, mm. see? And this is, this is prophecy, man. Yeah. You know? That's why it's so important to stay in tune with, with uh, you know, what's going on, man. And not just having your head up your ass, man. Yeah, All right, yeah. it's talking shit. Being right, cool. just talking yeah. shit. Yeah. Just all the, the the fringes, and you yeah. know, it's more than just just uh just just wearing your fringes, man. Put on the elect. Yeah, put on as as the elect, man. Yeah. You know, not saying that you know the the is insignificant. We got fringes on right now. Right. But we're wise as a serpent and as long as a dove. Yeah, we're not gonna wake up tomorrow going to work. Wearing printed down to the garment. Right. Like, Clocking in from a comments while be, right. garment, be so. blameless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, even at your job, you don't want nobody to just buy you or, or do any type of manner towards you just because you look apart from them. We're at war. You have to yeah. put on camouflage. Do you yeah. not realize you're behind enemy lines? Is this not yeah. apparent to them? Yeah. You're behind enemy lines. When you look at when you study, the truth says, go into the way of the ant, thou slugger, and be wise. Right. When you look at the insects and the creatures, what do they do? It's camouflage yeah. all day, baby. Yeah. Why did the Lord put the spirit on them to do that? Because that's the spirit of wisdom, mm -hmm. to stay, su to survive. Subtility. Subtility, yeah. you know. Uh, that was it on that. Come, come. Say, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, Jude 1 and 7. Right. Even as Sodom, Gomorrah, and the cities right. above them in yeah. like manner, Giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. So these places were set to be uh, set forth for eternal fire. You look at Babylon, you got cities like Atlanta, Seattle, New York, New York, uh, uh, Miami, Dallas, Dallas, all these. All these oh, yeah. turn, Baltimore, all these eternal lifestyle oh, yeah. cities. Yeah. These are going to be furthermore examples as far as uh, most High showing how he feels about how you keep the laws to the best of your ability, man. Because we we don't we don't get away from preaching the law. We we just giving the laws to the best of our ability. Yeah. Ability. Don't be in a Leviticus twenty and thirteen spirit. Right. We live in Atlanta where we've been preaching this Leviticus twenty and thirteen for years. And it's like Jake just still don't get it. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be judged by that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. By grace, man. Yeah, by grace. Uh yeah. Yeah, we got this we can close off on this. Yeah, you can start back on it and start off kind. It's Revelation twenty one and verse eight. But of the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters 
and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Yep, which is speaking of the missiles, man. You know, that's going to be <coughs> shot into America, Russia, yeah, uh, Israel. Mm -hmm. exactly. You know? All, because you, you believe it or not, America is going to shoot missiles as well, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? So don't think for a second that you other heathens aren't going <laughs> to get your judgment either. Yeah, they're going to get touched. You know? But mainly the destruction is going to go on here in, in Babylon, also known as America, man. Yeah. Okay? So, uh, y'all got anything else? You know, so with that, you know, Lord willing, or Abba Ramtazar, you were edified. You know, until the next time, before we close out, we're going to give all praise and infinite glory unto Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Until the next time, say shalom. Shalom. shalom.